With production finally hitting its stride, the U.S. began work on its final and best class of escort carrier. These were the 19 ships, with four more being canceled of the 10,900 ton Commencement Bay class. All were at least started by Todd Pacific Shipyard, with five being completed elsewhere. While it was accepted that the Bogue and Casablanca classes were okay for the now standard escort carrier roles of subhunting, aircraft transport, training, and assault carrier, undeniably, the Sangamons were the best of the type. They were larger, meaning they were easier to land on, could handle more and larger aircraft, and were more stable. They were more sturdily built, meaning they could absorb more damage. Being converted tankers also meant they had more reserve buoyancy and thus were harder to sink. In addition, they could carry more fuel. Clearly, the Sangamons were a preferable starting point considering the focus of escort carriers was drifting away from hunting subs in the relatively small Atlantic to supporting amphibious landings opposed by aircraft in the vast Pacific. As such, these ships were evolutions of the Sangamons. That is to say, while purpose-built as carriers, their design was still based on the T3-type tanker from which the Sangamons were converted, though improved. The biggest change was that the engine room was rearranged, though still at the stern. Subdivision to contain fire and flooding was improved. The ship's frame was also sturdier. Aircraft handling was improved by dint of being designed for such a task. The hangar was also longer. These were excellent ships in their role, in some ways even better than the Independence class light carriers. The only drawback was their speed and that they began arriving so late in the war that only a few of their number actually saw combat in 1945. Most were completed post-war or were canceled while under construction. The ones that did see the action served only shortly before being put in reserve and eventually scrapped. These ships, though, served as a bridge. Before them, the escort carrier was intended primarily for sea control. With these ships, its designed role morphed into primarily projecting power onto land. As such, they are the direct predecessor to the Iwo Jima, Tarawa, Wasp, and now America-class amphibious assault ships. Commencement Bay, originally St. Joseph Bay, was started September 23, 1943 and completed November 27, 1944. Block Island, originally Sunset Bay, was started October 25, 1943 and completed December 30, 1944. Gilbert Islands, originally St. Andrews Bay, was started November 29, 1943 and completed February 5, 1945. Kula Gulf, originally Vermilion Bay, was started November 29, 1943 and completed May 12, 1945. Cape Gloucester, originally Willapa Bay, was started January 10, 1943 and completed March 5, 1945. Salerno Bay, originally Winnipeg Bay, was started February 7, 1944, and completed May 19, 1945. Vela Gulf, originally Totem Bay, was started March 7, 1944, and completed April 9, 1945. Sibony, originally Frosty Bay, was started April 1, 1944, and completed May 14, 1945. Puget Sound, originally Hobart Bay, was started May 12, 1944, and completed June 17, 1945. Rendova, originally Moser Bay, was started June 15, 1944, and completed October 22, 1945. Biroco, originally Portage Bay, was started July 25, 1944, and completed July 16, 1945. Badong Strait, originally San Alberto Bay, was started August 18, 1944, and completed November 14, 1945. Sayador, originally Saltry Bay, was started September 30, 1944, and completed September 4, 1945. Sicily, originally Sandy Bay, was started October 23, 1944, and completed February 27, 1946. 
Point Cruise, originally Trocado Bay, was started December 4, 1944, and completed October 16, 1945. Mindoro was started January 2, 1945, and completed December 4, 1945. Rubal was started January 2, 1945, and delivered complete but not commissioned August 30, 1946. Palau was started February 19, 1945, and completed January 15, 1946. Tin Yan was started March 20, 1945, and delivered complete but not commissioned July 30, 1946. Bastogne was started April 2, 1945, but canceled August 12, 1945. Inuitic was started April 20, 1945, but canceled August 12, 1945. Lingayen was started May 1, 1945, but canceled August 12, 1945. Okinawa was started May 22, 1945, but canceled August 12, 1945. Main armament was two 5-inch, 38 caliber, dual-purpose guns in single open mounts, initially located at the stern, but moved to the flight deck in front of the island on later ships. Propulsion was provided by four boilers venting to four small funnels, two on each side near the stern that provided steam to two turbines. These produced 16,000 horsepower and each drove one of the two shafts for a top speed of about 20 knots. Like most carriers, they had one rudder. The flight deck was 501 feet by 80 feet and had two catapults. The two elevators were 44 feet by 42 feet. The hangar was 216 feet by 69 feet by 17 and a half feet. Aircraft complement was generally about 18 fighters and 15 Avengers. Modifications were few considering how late they entered the war. Early ships that had their 5-inch guns at the rear moved them up to the flight deck like the later ships. Commencement Bay arrived at the west coast in February 1945 and spent the rest of the war training pilots. Block Island joined the Pacific Fleet in early April 1945. From early May to mid-June she took part in the invasion of Okinawa. From late June to early July, she took part in the liberation of Borneo. She then spent the rest of the war at Guam, preparing for the invasion of Japan. Gilbert Islands joined the Pacific Fleet in early April 1945. From early May to mid-June, she took part in the invasion of Okinawa. From late June to early July, she took part in the liberation of Borneo. She spent the rest of the war screening the supply ships supporting the carriers as they raided Japan. Cape Gloucester joined the Pacific Fleet at the end of June 1945. She spent the first half of July covering the fighting on Okinawa and then spent the rest of the war taking part in air raids along the Chinese coast. Salerno Bay joined the Pacific Fleet near the end of June 1945 and spent the rest of the war training pilots at the west coast. Vela Gulf joined the Pacific Fleet in early May 1945. She then moved on to raid bypassed islands still held by the Japanese and the Marianas till late July. Arriving at Okinawa in early August, the war ended before she could see any more action. Kula Gulf, Sibini, Puget Sound, Rendova, Bairoko, Badong Strait, Sayador, Sicily, Point Cruz, Mindoro, and Palau either arrived too late to see action or were commissioned post-war. Rubal and Tinian were finished and accepted by the Navy post-war, but were never commissioned, immediately being put in reserve. Bastogne, Inuitic, Lingayen, and Okinawa were all canceled August 12, 1945, while still under construction.